Gotta check my email first. Oh, isn't Sylvia? Don't tell me this is the H, uh, human capital team of Eliza counseling session. Apologies in advance of the awkwardness here. I'm not even sure I have a direct email address, but anyway, here it goes. T. Evelyn, several years ago, you came and visited Professor Ralston's class to describe the research work you were doing at Skanda. I was in that class, and all of the guests' packages we had, you were struck a deep jaw chord with me. The moment you explained what drove you to create your listening machines, I really knew what I was going to do with my life. I was a junior then, and now I'm a grad student at the UW Reality Lab, studying ways we can infer in contextual information at the sentence level. It's small scale stuff and nothing compared to what you were doing, but the hope of contributing in my own or limited ways what keeps me motivated through the hardships. Ever since I held you left Skanda and went off the grid a while ago, I wonder wondered what happened to you. I thought about writing you a number of times, but every time I started a travel, I would eventually stop because I thought I might be bothering you when you clearly wanted to leave everything behind. I finally worked up the nerve this afternoon after a group of high school students came through the lab on the tour. Speaking to the kids, I realized that each of us pays forward our outreach, linking us in a chain that stretches backwards and forward in time. That's why it's so important for me to be able to express my appreciation, it inspired me and you continue to do so, thank you. No this reply, I'm sure either still off the grid or else you'll be busy on the secret amazing new project. Or Evelyn will be going to this person's lab to work under her, who knows, or them, sorry. Well... Damn! You may be deactivated as an Eliza proxy soon, yet incurred two infractions. Jesus. Remember the deactivation. Yep, that's an absolute deactivation then. Yeah! Your keycard access has been revoked, you incurred three infractions. God damn. Yeah, I can't see the ratings. This is really not changing anything. <laughs> well, that's an experience at least. To do whatever it is we like to do in games. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna read the rest. I, my mood's already like down way to the ground. We have decided what we've done there. Nora asked if we could hang out again. Sorry, also wanted to meet up. Honestly, I could probably ask Ray, I could visit her place again too. I could even say Rainer, I wanted to speak with him again, so I doubt he will take me up on it. I don't have enough social energy for all of them. I'll pick one person to meet up with again. What time is it? 17.23 Oh yeah, it's January 22nd Damn I have a bad feeling if I were to meet up with Ray. Ray will mention that I have severely destroyed my uh, 
future career Oh, this is like way back then. <laughs> Still a rather cheesy line there, I believe. Wherever you end up getting involved in, I hope you stay in touch with me. You're a really good person as well, that's all. Wait. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I kind of wish I could revisit one of these, but like, hmm. I really can't leave this, leave this kind of person it's away from it. What was my last conversation with her again? Hmm, I'm still weighing my options. God, Rainer. Rainer. Oh, man. Hmm. I really despise options. I will eventually be able to connect with them again, but then I just have to choose one of them. It's too late now. Then can Rainer be? I think Evelyn has to make an appointment to to meet with Rainer by contacting Sarah first. It's gonna get a bit complicated. Assuming that will work. Oh man. Hmm. Issue is, no data is recorded from our past sessions. So this really not gonna help.
Wait, who mentioned again about my statistics was actually... Hmm... Oh no. <laughs> I've been thinking to for minutes now and I can't decide for real. <sighs> I hope I don't regret this, but we'll see. Rainer. I kinda want to talk to Rainer some more. To my surprise, Rainer agreed to meet with me and told me to pick a venue. I chose the only fancy place I could think of in the moment. Haven't been to this place in a while. <laughs> I can't believe he actually came in. I wonder if they've improved at all. Feel free to suggest a different place. No, this is perfectly adequate. But tell me. To the point, let's go. What are you hoping to accomplish here? To get to know you better. Oh my god. I'm starting to think this may feel weird. Eventually, it all comes down to personal desire. Crazy. To get to know you better. It's important for me to work with someone I trust. Oh, it comes down to this eventually, huh? Consider it a part of my research. Fair enough. You're close to making your choice then, aren't you? Yeah, I think the way I choose means like Evelyn is going to go back to Scott. <laughs> oh man. In which case, let me be honest. Eliza will progress with or without you. If there's promising young engineering talent anywhere in the world, you can be assured my recruiting department hears about it. Bring them in by the hundreds. Damn it. Speaking from a statistical point of view, at least a couple of them are bound to be smart enough to take your place. Why are you telling me this? Uh oh, crap. Because I want you to understand. The forces shaping our future are larger than any one person. I don't want you to fall for the lies some people are undoubtedly feeding you that you're the only one who can do what you do. No, everyone can. That you're special in some undefinable way. The moment you begin to believe you're the only one who can do what you do is the moment you lose touch with reality. Hmm. No. From there, 
Self-importance, hubris, downfall. Then why are you so interested in getting me back? I think it's her now. Oh man, I'm preparing the worst case. Expediency. Even a more capable engineer than you would need time to ramp up. Whereas you could be effective immediately. Oh. And in this business, speed is absolutely critical. Oh boy, I probably shouldn't meet me <laughs> that soon. Oh boy. That's all. Thanks for being honest, I guess. At least I know what I'm in for if I return. <sighs> the way she plays her tone though, that's definitely something. I'm not a super villain in a Marvel movie, Evelyn. Don't expect me to offer some kind of justification for what I do. Marvel. <laughs> Quite a copyright there. But yeah. <laughs> None of this should be a surprise in any case. I'd hope that you wouldn't let a bruised ego get in the way of seeing the true scale of what I'm building here. Yikes. It's far, far bigger than any one single person. doesn't justify your use of others. Well, I already said I'm not interested in justification. Right. I'm under no illusions, Evelyn. Uh-oh. It's the will of a higher intelligence to come into existence through us, but there won't be room for us on the other side. At best, we might merge with it. But for something like that, it would be more an offering of charity than one of utility. And where does writing a poem fit in with that? <laughs> the poem is just a test, a way of proving a machine's ability to understand and to emulate human emotion. We used to talk about the Turing test for this purpose, but the Turing test was formulated with the goal of reproducing conversation. Yeah. Conversation takes many forms, and it's easy enough to play at without developing any real reasoning or intelligence. Poems are much deeper, a better specimen for our judgment. that's only a link back to us. Other than to demonstrate it can, there's no particular reason for it to write human-style poems. Rainer. You need me? Oh boy. This is way too forward. God damn it. I don't understand why you're doing this. Let me put it to you this way. Do you know what my net worth is? You don't need to know the exact amount. My point is, what interests someone like me? What amuses me? The 
answer is nothing. Nothing does. Anything I could want, I can get very easily. And that's not very interesting. Hmm. Sure, I could collect art, and I do. I could influence politics, and I do. But many other people do those things. There's nothing so special about that. What's the real impact I can have on the world? That's what I want to find. That's what I'm after. Hmm. And if life on this planet advances to the next stage because of what I do, then so much the better. Right. Now tell me, are you coming back or not? Oh boy. I need to tell Sarah to begin making preparations so you can start tomorrow. God damn. I haven't decided yet. I'm close, but not just yet. When will I know? Tomorrow morning. Whoa. Good. Now let's talk about something else. What did they end up talking about? The air is so clear and cold here. There's an icy breeze coming over the sound. I wonder how many people I'm seeing right now. All of them with their own feelings and desires, their own fears and hopes and dreams and disappointments. Their weight and insignificance and complexity of human lives. From a vantage point like this, it seems so small and distant. Wow, that's so late. Okay. Like, I'm not part of it, even though I know I am. I'm a part of humanity. Even though I don't always like it. Even though it sometimes pushes me away. I don't know why it took so long, but at least I have an answer now. Oh! It might not be the only answer, but it's good enough for the moment and that's more than I had before. Yes, I'm sure now. I'm going to... Oh god, don't tell me that it's going to be our choice again. Whoa. Yeah, this is really the end. This is really the end. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think this works. Fortune, independent power, and pursue all like side no right? Doing already start up at time to end human suffering. Whoa. Oh my god, this has been a journey. A really questionable journey. I don't even know why I met Rainer. I probably should have met with Nora. Force and in a better path there. Seems like everyone's dream, isn't it? But 
We don't have real data for this though. I'm afraid Evelyn will end up being the corporate freaking slave for that to occur. Hmm. License counselor. <laughs> The only five people that Evelyn has done. Fly into the world where you make your own rules. This is very serious. It's the only way to get what you want. This is just a depressing end. No. This is going to take a while. But to be a proxy though... Isn't that going to direct immediately to... <sighs> Rainer? I don't think that's going to be the case, right? Is this possible? I, I, I'm still weighing my options because it's like... Technically, it doesn't seem to be the case here. Imagine the activation for... 16 days. That's crazy. I think Ray... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Ray. Ray does not agree with the proxy deviating from the script, so I don't think she wants it to be the case. But then I'm afraid the way I decide things here is just really, really scrambly. It's just all over the place right now, so I... I'm deeply apologizing about that. It's really hard to decide on <laughs> where you want to go in life. It's just... It goes through long process instead of 16 days. <laughs> The way uh, Rainer also talked is just... Yeah. What will happen if Evelyn ends up 
working with Rainer again. Is there gonna be like corporate stuff I'm going? And then like his vision. impact I also have to imagine the uh, the sighting of Evelyn actually defeating that script too that's going to impact those three uh, three clients <laughs> This is so much, no, I don't... Mm. And human suffering, though. Alongside Nora? <laughs> Oh, this is hard. I I can't choose. I can't choose. Nora wants her to pursue her own career. So we wants her to do that. Nah. I'm not entirely sure what this one is though. Is, is she going to commit that? I just hope that's not going to be the case. But then like... That will just end our stuff back to zero. Are we still a proxy though? So much thinking, so much less of a clearance here. <laughs> Everything is so unsuring. Everything is so not assuring. Not so assuring, I mean. this okay no I, I still can't decide oh no oh no You know what? No. Maybe this is better. Yep. I just can't. I can't choose. I have to say I apologize once again, but I really am sorry. I just wish that I can have my chance to know the... Uh, to know all the... In, uh, all the conclusions, but no, I just have to choose one. 
forging an independent path and pursue art alongside Nora. After all, she was right. I could be a consultant or even start my own little company. It would give me the time and space to try making whatever I wanted to make, pursue whatever interest I had. Okay, this is actually something that I'm not regretting, I don't think. Maybe I'll finally get that music lessons from her. <laughs> That's not so bad, I think. Chapter 7. This is still a non-ending thing. Conclusion. No, no, this this will work. <gasps> Are you sure? I promise. Oh god. Please be safe, Damien. Of course I'll be safe. Would anyone like to have more wine? Bitch noise. I think I'm good for right now. Uh, see? See? There it goes. The flames shudder and wobble as they begin to spread their locks, which crackle and hiss at the heat. Wow. After a while, the widely leaping flames begin to steady themselves and we settle in around the bed. Where was this? Ah, fire. Agent of destruction and creation. Must be a while. Must be a damn, damn while. Hmm. Something nice about a campfire deep in the woods, isn't there? I like how it's animated. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming out here with me. I know camping isn't really your thing. Well, I mean, not Evelyn's thing, but I don't know about you, Nora. Maybe a couple times, when I was a kid. <laughs> I thought maybe since we're in pretty deep on all the things we're working on right now, we could all use it. As I used to, you know, when things got really bad, I'd come out into the woods and just be there. I also realized the smoke was animated too. That's a really nice detail. It helped me, so I thought well, maybe it would help you too. I don't know if it'll inspire you or what, but if more people could experience something like this, you know, something with the same meaning it holds for me. It is nice. Honestly, I've been doing all right. Better than before, that's for sure. Oh? Finals are soon, but I'm not too worried. Have I mentioned that I still love Nora's accent? <laughs> I'm still gonna mention that, even though it may seem boring. Well, Evelyn's got her dissertation to finish up. So I think this three already knows each other since they were like little well no, not necessarily little but like at university age damn they go a long way indeed oh how's that going Evelyn? hope Nora nah, I know. you know you're not supposed to ask how the dissertation is going <laughs> is that a rule? Pour me that drink anytime. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 let's have a drink.
I'm still kind of freezing, even with this fire going. No reaches for her backpack and pulls out the thermos. Ah, uh, thermos. She has a plastic cups and pours into them a warm, dark liquid. Okay, this is delicious. You know, I've never actually had mulled wine like this before. So Evelyn did try wine. Yeah. No, in my family we always had it around this time of year. You take red wine and add what? Cinnamon, orange. Yeah, those and cloves and um, anise, star anise and honey. Oh. That's it. Quite simple. I think I will love it. Honey is a nice, nice thing. It's really warming me up. Especially if it serves hot. <laughs> That's what it's for. Ugh, so good. Evelyn, though. Evelyn, you doze off or something? Hehe, <laughs> dozing off. No, no, I'm awake. I was just looking at the fire. Kind of staring at it, I guess. Still probably thinking about the means uh, what's to... What do you see? <laughs> Everyone, people, us. I don't know what that means. I think if we were going to make something to help people, it would be something that helped them see themselves. Ooh. Something that reflected back on them somehow. And that's when Eliza was born, I believe. Just a thought. It's probably nothing. It's probably nothing she said. No, no, I, I like that though. Yeah, something to help you reflect. Wait. Didn't Eliza start as a startup too? And then when they decided to present it to the company, I think that's the right track. I'm really looking forward to working on these ideas with you two. Oh, Damien. And just as soon as all this nonsense with school is over. School times. Everyone regards the fire in silence for a while, sipping Nora's mulled wine. There's so many bad things happening in the world right now. But I, I don't know, somehow, for some reason, I feel like the future is going to be okay. Oh, Damien. I don't know why, I just, I have this feeling that we're the ones, we're, we're the ones who are going to fix it. <sighs> Not we, like, you know, you or me, but I mean, like, our generation. Oh. Thing is to try. 
I feel like that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to try. Sometimes you get tired of trying. Well, at least I do. I wonder what things will be like 10 or 20 years from now. Oh, boy. You know, what we have achieved, our goals. What would we say to each other? Damien. What would we say to our younger selves? The future we want, the future we're trying to create, did it even happen? Also, I noticed this shade too. I really like this small details but mattering kind of thing. Of course this happened to all the things but it's still quite a detail. Damien looks up at the sky. Future selves, tell us if it happened, okay? Come back in time, just tell us that you made it happen, please. Jesus, Damien. <laughs> Damien. It's the wine. <laughs> it's the wine. It's more than just the wine. <laughs> I'm just I'm just interested in the future, that's all. <sighs> yeah, hearing this coming from Damien is just really saddening. My future, your future, humanity's future. Of course right now the only future I can picture is the headache I'm gonna have tomorrow morning, but no reason to worry about it now. <laughs> True. Living in the present, here and now. You know what, you're right. I'll have some more. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think I'm passing out. Well, it is pretty late. Good night, Evelyn. Alright, good night, Evelyn. Oh. Hey, I know you've been working hard, so have a good rest, okay? You deserve it. Right. 